Yo, what is up, YouTube man? Today we're talking about the Steve Nash signature combo. But one interesting thing about this drip move, as you can see, I'm on my glitch six foot nine build. And if you're somebody that has a build that maybe it doesn't have the greatest dribbling stat. As you can see, I have a 75 ball control and a 70 speed with ball. So if you can actually use these signature combos on a taller build that isn't really supposed to be a main ball handler and be successful with it, that's going to be pretty huge. And a thousand percent, if I can use this move on a glitch 69 on a build that's taller, that only has 70 speed with ball, 75 ball control, then you can definitely use this on a build with great ball control, whether that's 99, 93, 85. If you're short and fast and you can dribble this works perfectly for you. It is very interesting that you can get a signature combo. Steve Nash is in particular that goes on a build that's six foot nine. You would think you would have a height cap, but check it out. All you have to do to do this move is flick up on the right joystick while holding RT or R2. There is no brain science to it. A signature combo is one of the easiest dribble moves to do in NBA 2K22, whether that's current gen or next gen. We have a Chips Ahoy champion for the first game. Now, one thing I do want to say is this isn't old 2Ks. It's not games where you could be super tall and dribble and move exactly like point guards. As you see, the guy I'm playing against, he's not that short, but he's quite a bit shorter than me, and he's going to move differently than me. When you're a taller build, you just got to get used to your dribble moves being a little bit slower, a little bit clunkier. Now, you can still combo out of him. You see, I do a step back right there. Here is the combo right here. It doesn't do too much by the looks of it, but out of it, I still get a dunk. Signature combos in general, they're not a move that you're just going to press and then just sit there, let it play out, and be a defender with that. But it is a very natural thing to do. I mean, if you're just trying to move a certain direction, I mean, this guy, check, I mean, check this out, man. I'm doing it. He's giving me the space. I'm stepping back on him. I'm getting a three. Could I have just stood still and then do the step back? Yes. But while I hit a dribble move like a signature combo, he thinks I'm about to move while doing it. He's not sure if I'm going to drive, if I'm going to step back. You can always use a signature combo to read the defense. Check this out. Again, he's playing up this time. I'm just going to step it back, do a crossover, go to the hoop, get a nice contact dunk on him. I do like the Steve Nash signature combo on taller builds, specifically the glitch six foot nine. You see, I was playing really good defense. He ends up getting a nice three pointer right there. I love the slashing takeover. It boosts my ball handle. So now I'm going to move even faster. Again, he's playing high. The signature combo is kind of doing what it's supposed to do. He's playing high on it. I'm hitting him with a quick crossover out of it to get to the hoop right here. Again, up on me, past him. Beautiful contact. Don't miss it this time, man. I'm usually pretty good with the dunk meter but don't let anyone lie to you you can't go 100 for 100 on dunks with the dunk meter it's gonna mess up eventually you're gonna mess up eventually we are human right here gotta get the redemption though 5 to 14 let me know in the comments if you guys do like me using a build that's not really a dribbling build i usually use my 6 6 shot creator but i do feel very confident dribbling on this six foot nine and whenever you have check this i mean he pretty much quit he's cold it does happen a lot in the 1v1 market people are quick to get discouraged because there's no one to blame it on you know you, you got no teammates and it is a fact the less people on the court the less people you have to blame it on right here i'm actually testing out a different size up escape with the signature combo seeing if it would go a little bit better with this one and honestly there are certain drip moves that work well with other drip moves to have on but with the steve nas signature combo you could really have anything on and you can do whatever you want out of it check this out man he tries to hit me with the spin gotta go for the quick dunk sometimes there is no need to do any drip moves at all if you get a steal if you could just go to the hoop and get a quick dunk that is the best way to do it check out the drip moves this guy has on i'm not too sure what that was he goes in hit up defense get another block another quick two five to nine finally got my slash and takeover gonna combo up a little bit steve nash he backs up exactly what i want shoot the three it's a white it goes in thank goodness that's not something that usually happens with a 77 three-pointer but i will take it for sure as always in the comments let me know if you are a big fan of the steve nash signature combo let me know which ones you guys use let me know if you're using it on a build more like this or a build that has great ball handling and definitely let me know if there's anything cheesy about it that I'm missing. I don't know if you guys remember in 2K18, depending on the signature size up, it may have been called something different. The rhythm dribble used to do. Based on the rhythm dribble you had, you could like glitch your player to where he was like frozen coming up the court. Crazy stuff like that. 2K has came a long way though. There's not too many, too many things you can do like that. And you know, that's good. It's great for the game. Right here, this guy tries to hit me with a dunk meter. And he very early said I get a good contest and it goes in anyway. 
Hit him with a little spin right here. Some little Steve Nash dribbling up. He stands still, gives me the three. Not thinking I can shoot most likely because I am called a two-way finisher. Finish him off with the dunk right here, man. Let me know if you guys enjoyed the video. This is Tonic. I will catch you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.